I'm going to do Charleston modeling for American style. I call this exercise Charleston sprints because I'm gonna test myself in quick decision making for practice and playing in tournaments. Have you ever played in a tournament? You have to play four games in 12 to 15 minutes. That pressure can kind of get to you unless you practice. If you are new to Mahjong, or if you know how to play and want to improve your game, consider subscribing. When you do subscribe, click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's get to these Charleston sprints. I have my smartphone out with a stopwatch on it. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. I consider myself to be an advanced player. If you're a beginner, try to make decisions in under four minutes. And if you're intermediate, shoot for under three minutes. I'm going to build a mock Charleston. This is not exactly what you would experience in a live game with other players. This is to mimic the Charleston passes. So don't expect it to be exact. This is just for practice. So we have our Charleston ready. I'm going to just quickly look to see if there are any jokers in here because I do not want to eat into my time exchanging jokers. So there was one in here that we were able to exchange. So now we don't have to worry about jokers. All right, here we go. Start. One, three, three. Those sevens, I don't think are gonna be helpful. We'll save them for joker bait. Let's discard these three. Two, we could do something consecutive maybe. Let's discard these three. Oh, there's a pair of green dragons. Let's break up the seven. We maybe could play one, three, three, five with dragons. There's a one, seven, six, four. I am seeing some lucky 13 go by, but we're not gonna slow down to figure that out. We're just gonna go with the gut. Let's pass those. There's a four for something maybe consecutive. There's a one. Now we have to pick one. Let's see, we have two, three, five. I don't think that's going to work. One, three, one, two, three. Let's get rid of that. One, three, three, five with dragons. We don't have any one dots. Let's give up the two and the five. Let's pass those three. optional cross. Lap. Okay. I went over a few seconds on that one and we have five discards, maybe more because we're in between some kind of one, three, three, five option here. One, three, five. I'm thinking if we could get a one dot, we could play the one, three, three, five with dragons, the third one down on the left. We're missing though this one dot. That's a big gap, but that's leveraging these multiples. If you would have done something different, write it in the comment section and just say, hand one and then what you would have played and I'll look at it. Let's see. I was just thinking if there was something else we could do here. We could maybe play like numbers with the flower 
and use these as joker bait. <laughs> All right, let's do the next one. Okay, I'm thinking something 2468. Here we have 2468. The only thing we're missing is a six, which is kind of significant. Let's pass these three. Okay, we'll get rid of that. There's a one. Let's see, we have two, seven, two. Maybe we should hold the one and the two and switch to consecutive. We'll pass those. Here's a seven. I'm thinking maybe even a year hand. Here's a four. We have to now pick. Let's see here. We do have year tiles. Two, we have two, three, two, four, seven, nine. Let's keep the seven, eight, nine, one, two, four, let's get rid of the three. I'm thinking either the year category or something consecutive. Here's a three. One, two, three, four, two, four, eight. We have no, oh, here's a six. Two, four, six, eight. Let's give up the three and look at two, four, six, eight. Okay, here's an eight. Let's give up the one. Two, four, six, eight. Oops. Okay, here's an eight, a four, and a nine. Now we have to pick. This is when you pick a hand. I'm thinking the the two, four, six, eight pair hand, in which case we go with what we have the most of. Let's give away these three. <coughs> This was a challenge. Let's give away these three optional crafts. Okay, lap. So this one, I went over for sure, but two, four, six, eight pair hand. We have five discards, including a joker, but we have two, four, six, eight. We could maybe even play two, four, and dots, six, eight, and cracks and use that joker. So I'd say we have four discards, but we're in between some kind of a two, four, six, eight hand. If you would have done something different on this one, let me know. And we'll do one more sprint. Oh, you know what? Let's look for jokers. Okay, I'll mix them up, try to keep it spontaneous. I have a terrible memory, so I wouldn't remember what's in there anyway. Okay, here we go. Last one. Ooh, look at these flowers. I'm thinking a year hand. Maybe we can make up some time on this one, but we have a pair of sixes too. Let's get rid of these three. If we can get a six bam, we could play like numbers with sixes. There it is. Here's another six too. Let's give away these three right here. Okay, we have tiles we can pass. Let's keep the green because we have like number options. There's a red, but we can't keep it all. The six crack has that corresponding dragon there. We don't need that then. Discards. That's a little bit risky here. We'll pass it. I think we have a really nice setup here. Uh-oh. We have to make a choice. I'm not going to pass like numbers. I refuse to do it. I really, really do. Let's pass the six bam. Pass. Maybe we'll get the six bam back.
lap. Okay. So we are in between like numbers with six flowers or like numbers with dragons. We could throw away one of the flowers and we do have joker bait. Four discards with joker bait. If you would have done something different, let me know. There may have even been a lucky 13 option in there. Maybe we should even hold on to these for lucky 13 right here. I wonder if I passed any sevens or the one bam. Who knows? I'll have to watch the video again. Let's see how things went with time. I think I shaved off a lot for that last sprint. So the first one I went over four seconds. The second one I went over 32 seconds. That's 36 seconds. For the last one, I was one minute 28. So I went over by four seconds. That's not bad. But I can probably shave it off a little bit. If you play in tournaments and you have a set at home, get your set out and practice Charleston sprints. The next time that you play in a tournament, I'll bet you your confidence goes up and your stress goes down. Come back and tell me about it if that's the case for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos that way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some new strategies or pick up insights into the game that may give you an advantage at the table, especially at a tournament. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.